Today we're going to learn how to use Context API. So if you're someone who is like me and who just don't want to use React Redux because it is too complex and um, you just want to add another package in your React Native app, then you can use a built-in API known as um, Context API to you uh, to do the same thing as like to do the same thing what React Redux does. Now, if you are someone who likes to read a lot and who just focuses on theory as well, then you can just read what is Context API when to use and everything like that. But if you're like me, you can just move directly to this part, or you can just follow along with the video. So let's see how to use it. I'm having a, a basic setup where I have two screens. One is home screen and another is another screen. When I press on another screen, I go to another screen. And when I press go back, I, go, I just go back to home screen. So uh, let me show you how to use Context API. Like in normal case scenario, like in normal scenario, what we do is we pass on the props and data in a tree manner, like from parent to, uh, parent to child and so on and so on. But what if the um, structure becomes complex? Then you got a problem, right? So to solve that, we have Context API. Um, let me just make a folder known as um, global global okay inside global let me make um, practice practice context okay not yes like it can be anything okay import react no it's it's gonna be react I think yeah import react from react and so far this is the only thing I think um, we are gonna you know, need something if you're gonna need anything we'll just import it okay so here we will do this as you can see if we have to um, create context we have to make the provider and then we will use the values that we like to use okay so let's see how we do it first copy this now many people think and sometimes ask me like personally that why do you copy a lot why don't you just write everything and why don't you just learn like you why don't you just cram different things um, I just don't find some like there's no point in cramming or doing something like that uh, that you can just copy the code so I just save time doing that okay so I'll rename it as practice context you can just rename it anything you like and const practice practice context equals this okay oh sorry I just uh, practice provider let me name it name it like this return inside of that we'll just put practice context dot provider and just bring in the children children and put it in here children now if you're someone who just don't like destructuring what you can do is just write prop here props maybe and do props dot children or something like that maybe like I don't know I, I I just don't use that a lot so what I prefer is children children and I just write children here okay now I'll be I'm exporting export uh, practice context and practice provider okay before that value okay inside it 
we have to um, just export the values that we have to use in different places okay so um, no we don't use uh, we don't need to import anything const um, well set well equals react dot use state let's say that's zero well one set well one to be zero as well now well two that is going to be two and set well two and all these values are zero okay and to just differentiate them I'm setting them zero one and two now Beside this, we have to pass each and everything, okay? Like whatever you just want to use at different places in your app, we just have to export that. Okay, so we have done this so far. Oh my goodness, I just spelled it wrongly okay we have this and now practice context and practice provider okay now let's see what we have got so far now what you have to do is you have to import practice provider okay and wrap the whole app at the root level like this and just wrap the whole thing inside this practice provider which we have imported from our another file that is like whatever you name it okay I've named it practice provider so for now let me tell you what I've done. I've made a file inside a folder that is global and from there I'm exporting as the provider and the context and I am importing it in the root of my application and that is app.js and I'm wrapping the whole thing, the whole navigation container inside practice provider okay so so far we have done this I I hope you're just following along now how are we going to use different values now in this case I'm having these components home screen and another screen in the same like in the same file as app.js but in normal case scenario you might not be having and you definitely not like no one have them at this place right you have at some other place so you just don't have to worry you you have to do the same things as I'm doing okay let's see what we have to do here we have to uh, import practice context like we have to import this thing as well which we have exported in here practice context you can name it anything that you like and um, for reference I just like to name it um, uh, the provider as anything provider X provider X provider and X context now context and provider can be anything oh, sorry like X can be anything okay like name provider name context your app name provider your app name context anything like that so uh, for reference like but for easy naming I just do this okay after after importing the context inside the function of your home screen like of your screen you have to use a hook known as use context now again I'm using destructuring you can uh, skip destructuring if you don't like that you can import it in a normal way but I, I like uh, using destructuring okay 
So let me just copy all these things. I want each and everything from here. And let me just paste it. Const uh, this from use context. And uh, just pay attention that you have to uh, import use context. Uh, it got imported from a wrong place. Not a big deal. You can you you just have to use use context from React. Use context and inside of that, in the parameters, you have to place practice context. And I think we are done. In home screen, let's make another text that says, well, well, one, well, well, one, and well, two. Okay, I'm creating another button that says, um, increase 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 and on press it just increases everything set well well plus one and it just increases well well one and well two by one okay well well one and well two okay so we're done here okay undefined is not an object okay so i did a i did a stupid thing stupid mistake here that is like there should be no default value in here okay like it should be blank Okay, so as you can see in the screen right now, we have all those things on the screen. We have val1, val, val1, val2, everything like that. And if I press increase, see, everything gets increased by 1. And what's the good thing? The good thing is we have not passed any value um, from here, like a child or something. See? We are just um, using these values from practice context. Now, what if I go to another screen and I want to use those same values in here as well without passing them down like the old fashion, in the old way, okay? I'll just do the same thing in here as well. And after that, we will need this thing here. You can see that we have the updated values here as well. If I go back, we have four, five, six. I increase it, five, six, seven. See, we have five, six, seven as well. I increase it here, six, seven, eight. I go back. I have six, seven, eight as well. So you can just do it at any level without getting confused, without um, getting stuck inside a deep structure, without um, having a lot of um, setup. You can just avoid using React Redux. I don't know, like if like there might uh, there may be some pros and cons of um, this or that or. React Redux over this, like whatever, but I prefer this more. And see, like I just don't use React Redux until and unless I just really have to use that. Okay, I just want to avoid those complex setups and I just want to avoid um, extra package over the React Native thing. So that was it for today. If you have any kind of idea, any kind of suggestion, you can just let me know. I'll just make a video on that topic as well. Till then, till the next video. Um, have a good day. Have, have good days because I just post um, 
once in a while so I'm, I'm really sorry for that and I just have to let you let you guys know one more thing that is if you go um, to buy me a coffee dot com and slash buy me a coffee dot com slash and then cage you can just find this page and you can just support me um, right now I'm having this goal of three hundred dollars that is that says when I reach three hundred dollars I'll get a mirrorless camera and make face videos along with coding videos so I'll be making a live streaming coding as well so yeah that's kind of something if you just want to support me you can do this and I'm trying to bring more amazing things from um, gradually into this channel so yeah that is it for the video have a good day and good days ahead and take care of yourselves keep coding keep chilling thank you so much